What's going on everybody? I'm Josh with Prestige Dodge and today I'm introducing the all new 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer Series 1. When I first heard about the Wagoneer, I was at the Denver Auto Show. I thought back to my dad's 1994 Jeep Grand Cherokee Wagoneer, so memories of wood paneling flooded my mind. So obviously I was expecting a callback to my childhood. Man was I wrong, but in the best way possible. The Wagoneer, and more particularly the Grand Wagoneer, is an engineering marvel. This three-row Titan is a full-sized luxury SUV teeming with technology, comforts, and styling. Press the remote start button on your key fob and the full LED headlights ignite with electric intensity. Inside the glowing mystique, the traditional Jeep grille highlights its off-roading pedigree, while the aluminum accents remind you of its opulence. As you approach, the vehicle greets you with a little bow as the quad lift air suspension drops for an easier ingress. Simultaneously, the automatic sidestep running boards roll out the red carpet, trumpeting a subtle yet grand entrance. Upon sitting in the driver's seat, you are bathed with light from three distinct screens, offering all manners of options and tools. I'm sure you're really enjoying my Cancun Resort style narration of the Grand Wagoneer but I thought it may be prudent that I give you some real life reactions. Don't worry though, I'll be sure to mention the all you can eat lobster bistro and the poolside bar at the end of the video. Okay, where to begin? Well, for starters, the ride is unreal. I do this for a living and so I understand ride quality and this thing rides like glass. The only way you ever know that you went over a break in the road is the sound it makes. Next, the power. You'd think with 7,700 pounds of steel, this engine would struggle like a sumo wrestler on a mini bike, but no. <laughs> the reason is simple. The Grand Wagoneer houses a 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine with 470 horsepower and 455 foot-pounds of torque. It does dampen your fuel economy a bit. This thing averages around 15 miles to the gallon. But when you're towing 9,850 pounds, do you really care? If you're interested in the Grand Wagoneer, you likely love the finer things in life. The Grand Wagoneer isn't just a vehicle, it is an experience. The driver and passenger seats are both set with massage controls customizable to various speeds and areas on your back. Both are equipped with 20-way power adjustments to include the headrest, lumbar support, and back bolster. It can be said that most manufacturers devote 85% of their energy to the driver's experience, while passengers will get a corner glance at best. Not with the Grand Wagoneer. From the passenger seat, not only do I get access to all the goodies like the massage settings, but I get my own 10-inch screen. How cool is that? From here, I can input navigation directions for the driver, adjust the music, or watch movies utilizing my Amazon Fire Stick that I plug into the HDMI port behind this James Bond-style hidden compartment. Yes, Jeep pulled out all the stops to ensure the Grand Wagoneer was impressive at every level. The vehicle is riddled with digital screens. The driver has a fully customizable display featuring everything from the current speed to off-roading information, while the 12-inch display in the center can access features like Sirius XM radio, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, ambient lighting, surround camera, and control over the active safety features. Even the second row captain's chairs have their own screen. From here, I can access the quad zone climate control and heated seat feature. Not only that, I can relax under the panoramic sunroof while my cell phone charges with one of 16 USB charging ports. As mentioned before, the Grand Wagoneer is a three-row SUV, and Jeep has added several conveniences for those with large families. 
For one, the second row has push button access to the third row, making it easier to get in and out. Next, the two outboard seats are equipped with soft material armrests, a cup holder, a USB-C, and a USB-A charging port. This may sound strange, but in my opinion, the third row is the best seat in the house. The space is exemplary, and the seats are unusually comfortable. Third rows are usually treated like $100 futons. You buy it with the thought in mind of, yeah, it'll do. Yet, this one feels great. It has its own power reclining feature and its own moonroof. Yes, I will have another Brandy Alfred, thank you. Our next item on our tour is the trunk, and the Grand Wagoneer has an astonishing 27.4 cubic feet behind the third row. What's that you say? That's not enough? Well, fear not, you merely press these buttons here, and your third row folds down for you to open up your Grand Wagoneer to 70.9 cubic feet. That's still not enough? Well, Bam, 94.2 cubic feet. There's literally enough space in there for you to fit a Ford Fiesta. It is difficult to look at the Grand Wagoneer and not be caught up with its size. It goes big everywhere. The rims can range from 20 to 22 inches, the suspension can be raised or lowered 3.6 inches, and the dual center consoles are massive. With such a large vehicle, many of you may be concerned about its size on the road. One thing I really appreciate is the driving position. It props you up nicely to see everything, and the large windows give you ample visual range. With that said, it still feels like a big car. Not in a way that feels awkward, but it is noticeable. The best way I can put it is, it's like walking around your house with your arms outstretched. With practice, you can get good enough to traverse from one room to the next without hitting your hand on a door frame. But so long as you continue to do it, you would always have to adjust your position to make sure you didn't knock pictures off the wall. Even though the Grand Wagoneer is a large SUV, it protects you with a multitude of safety options. To start, it comes equipped with the surround view camera, providing a 360 degree bird's eye perspective on the vehicle. Next, it comes with adaptive cruise control, which allows you to set the vehicle to a predetermined speed. Then, using sensors in front of the vehicle, it slows when approaching slower vehicles and accelerates once the road is clear. And lastly, it comes equipped with blind spot and rear cross path detection, active lane management, and pedestrian emergency braking. These keep you aware of who is around you and where you are in relation to other drivers. The Grand Wagoneer even comes with ParkSense automated parking system, which will parallel or perpendicularly park the vehicle for you. I am not going to demonstrate ParkSense because even though I am confident in Jeep's technology, this is a $92,430 vehicle, and even my life insurance doesn't pay that much. Yes, the Grand Wagoneer comes with everything. Even if I didn't mention it in this video, chances are the Grand Wagoneer has it. Heads up display? Yes, it does. Drink cooler in the center console? Yep. A Macintosh audio system with 19 speakers and surround sound? Of course. What about the Wagoneer connected app? Yes, yes, yes. How about this? Here is a list of all the things I couldn't mention in this video that is either standard or optional on the Grand Wagoneer. So what is my conclusion on the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer? You know, it's kind of hard to quantify. It's visually appealing, drives well, rides well, and has every amenity you would think of, and even some you wouldn't. And at its heart, it's a Jeep with a Jeep soul. Standard quad drive, four wheel drive system with multiple terrain modes for off-roading. Though, I think for me, the best part isn't the luxuries or the aesthetics, but a badge underneath the hood that reads, born in America. That alone makes it a step above in my book. Thank you for watching this 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer walk around video. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Also check out Prestige Dodge in Longmont, Colorado, or go to prestigedodge.com for a grand car buying experience.